Hello everyone, Kevin Stevens in here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about geo-blocking with your OpenSense hardware. Yes, that's right. We're going to be able to take and install uh, geo-blocking, geo-IP blocking on your OpenSense and uh, pick the countries you want to block in just a few moments. All right, let's get started. So first up, you're going to need to log into your OpenSense. So once you're logged into your OpenSense, you're going to go on down here and you want to click on Firewall. And then go to aliases. And then you're going to see a tab that says GOIP settings. So right now, if you're brand new, it's going to look just like this. You can flip the toggle help and then you can see how to do that. Um, and so what we're going to use is a free GOIP list from Max, MaxMind. Now they actually have a paid one, so let's just take a look. So here is MaxMind. You go to MaxMind and here's their website. Go to products. They have commercial versions and everything, but we're going to pick this Geo Location Light version and Geo Light 2. And so that's going to be free for everyone to use. So uh, you will have to sign up for an account. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And boom, here you are on that website. You can go ahead and sign up right here. It'll go through, you just have to go through this stuff here. Once you've done that, you'll have an account. You'll have an account that you've logged into, and then you can go come back here and hit generate keys. I'm gonna go ahead and log in real quick. Okay, so here we are logged into our account. You're gonna see, I have a few keys in there already, but you can generate up to 25 keys uh, in your account. Uh, so if you have multiple locations, multiple firewalls or whatever, and you wanna just do them individually, you can. Um, so you're gonna hit click generate new key, and it's gonna walk you through this operation. Now. Once you get that, you're going to want to save that information, right? So go ahead and save that in like whatever your password manager you're using, you know, LastPass, Bitwarden, so on and so forth. Uh, go ahead and do that. Now, we're going to need to get a copy of this database for your firewall to use. So that's when you're going to go down here and click on download files. So if you click on download files, you're going to see several versions, right? So you got here. And, and so this is, uh, generally speaking, we talk about country blocking and everything, but there are cities and things like that. So you, you can you can do cities, but we're just going to look at the country version. We're going to all the way down to the bottom and look at the CSV version. And so now you want to get a link that you're going to put back in your firewall. So that's where this get permanent link pops in. And so what you have here is is the format for the link. So take a look at this URL. You're going to copy this URL, this first one here, and instead of the SHA-256 one. And you're going to copy that and paste it into your, you know, I recommend going ahead and getting your, uh, you know, open up Notepad or something like that, pasting this in here, and then manually changing this portion of it to your license key, which you would have gotten in the previous step, okay? So that should be downloaded. I'm gonna do that real quick, get that copied, and we'll be right back. Okay, so once you have that copy, you're gonna go back over here to the aliases, you're gonna paste in your URL, then you've got it in there. Now go ahead and hit apply. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna get a copy of that information. And so now that that is downloaded and updated, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of IPs in this range, right? Okay, so now, you're going to want to click over to the alias side. So the alias side is where you're going to set up the alias that, of the countries you want to block. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign here. Give it a name. And under here, under the type, we're going to pick GOIP. And so what that's going to do is select that list. Now, also that we created in the other tab. So also you want to say, I want IPv4 and IPv6. And so then you can choose, you know, from the continents you want to do. So if you just, you know, you go ahead and you see here, here's the Americas, all, everything that's in there, right? Uh, Antarctica, we're just going to choose Antarctica for no good reason other than why not. So then you want to give it a description. And boom. So now you have an alias, which has the block list on it, right? And you hit OK. Now go ahead and hit Apply, because that's going to go ahead and commit that. Now, next up, you want to make a firewall rule. So to do that, you're going to go to Firewall. 
go all the way down here to rules and pick WAN. So the, the WAN is the one you want to do. So this, this is it. IP that attacks coming from the outside. So it's going to come on in your WAN. So go ahead and hit this plus sign, right? And so first off, our actions is block. Now, since I have the help on here, you can read here what the difference between block and, and reject is, okay? But block is what we want. All right, so now we want to go down here and pick the source. And we're going to find the alias that is the GOIP light, right? And so that's going to say the source is from anything in that list blocked coming in through the WAN, right? And let's go ahead and scroll all the way down here and give it a description as to what this is. Okay, so now you have it, GOIP blocking list, hit description. And again, that's block and source and description. So hit OK or hit save, hit apply. And now that stuff is in here. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is that uh, we are missing the the rules in here, uh, but you want this to make sure that this is the top rule or, or at the very top, basically. So, cause we want your rules are processed from top to bottom. So since, since we want to block stuff coming in first, uh, if you have an allow, then it's going to hit that if it hits that first and then the blocking, it's, it's not really going to do anything. So you got to do top to bottom. So that is that and, and that is set up. So, Okay, so that's all there is to setting up GOIP blocking on your OpenSynth. Go out there, pick the uh, the bad guys you want to exclude from your from hitting your external network. Uh, be safe. If you got anything out of this video, go ahead and smash the like, subscribe to this channel, and if you feel like giving me a super thanks, or uh, if you're looking to buy a PFSynth or OpenSynth, uh, there's a hardware link in my in the description of this video, which is great hardware that you can install OpenSynth or PFSynth. Uh, or other firewall um, operating systems on. So we'll see you next time.